Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell, and this is the last video for Area of Study 2, so congratulations on making it this far. Uh, only one more outcome to go for uh, Unit 3, and then we're halfway. So it all happens very quickly, and you've done really well to get this far, but a long way to go yet. And this video is on ethics and social responsibility in the internal environment. We've gone through what ethics and social responsibility are in the past, but just to give you a refresher, ethics is abiding by moral standards and doing the right thing in the interests of all stakeholders, and social responsibility is about going above and beyond the legal obligations to the well-being of employees, the community, and the environment. What we need to look at here is right, what are some particular issues that could arise uh, in the internal environment for ethics and social responsibility. The first one, and look, there, there's a large list. Here's, here are just some really common ones. Um, so fairness and honesty, being fair and honest with employees and also all stakeholders. There's no point you know, if you know that the business is in trouble then you know, lying to your employees and saying, yeah, it's fine, you've got ongoing employment. It's important to be fair and honest with them and be upfront with them. So being transparent is probably another really good word. Um, conflicts, conflicts of interest, being able to declare any conflict of interest. So for example, people in government or people on council when they make decisions, if they have, you know, if they make a decision and they own shares in a particular company and the decision could help out that company, they need to declare that, that interest. Um, because it's just a way of being, again, being fair and honest, but so that everyone's aware of, all right, why are you making, you know, voting this particular way on a particular decision? Um, financial management, it's really important that all financial documents are fair, are, are honest, are upfront, that you, there's no fudging of the books or anything like that. Fair pay, look, paying employees, you need to be really careful here, paying employees what, the law tells you you have to, that's not being ethical or socially responsible. But paying them fairly for what their value is in the marketplace, so you know, which would probably be pay, which was definitely paying them more than what the minimum is, um, that can be seen as ethical. Uh, diversity, so having a lot of organisations these days have uh, diversity policies which ensures that you know, there's a quality between, or there's a diverse range of backgrounds in terms of um, male, female, or, you know, cultural backgrounds in management roles. So diversity uh, can be really important and it can also help um, make better decisions. So there's not just the one type of person in, in a management role making decisions. And going above and beyond the legal requirements to ensure health and safety of employees. Now, just ensuring employees are safe at work, that's not, that's a requirement. That's not, um, that's a legal obligation. That's not socially responsible or ethical, but going above and beyond that to ensure absolutely nothing can happen to your employees, no matter what the cost, that can be seen as socially responsible. So they're just some issues that organisations can look at um, in the internal environment in order to be ethical and socially responsible. So for activities, questions and more on this topic, then come on over to teachingbubble.com.